Hi Collective, how are you all today? I'm doing good. I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank you for all your likes and your shares. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I'm going to give a special shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys. All right. I hope everyone's doing well today. And it was getting a good night's sleep last night and feeling rested today. All right. So let's tap in, guys. Starting out, we've got indulgence. So some kind of an interaction. Could have gotten friendly. We have a commitment here. And we have gift and we have child okay so <clears throat> maybe this couple is indulgent with things in front of the child maybe this child is very gifted maybe someone in this couple here is trying to work on their gifts <clears throat> well the gift card was clarified by Jen. So someone's conjuring a Jen to help them with their spiritual gifts in some way. As magic unfolds, a risk as high will arise. Wishes will be granted, but beware of the design. So <clears throat> this couple here, they're wishing for something. And this poor child here is dealing with a haunted house. Okay. <clears throat> they've conjured up something dark and nasty and uh, it's more than just this gin and this house is haunted within these haunted walls secrets reside ghosts are just memories that will never die this child is scared maybe this whole family is scared could be having like poltergeist type activity in the house. I'm going to spin around and let you guys see what I've got laid out. Okay, so this couple over here, they're really toxic. They're knowing that they've fucked up. Now they're trapped in something that they've created here. And it was all involving someone popping the question here so that this commitment could take place. All right. Maybe these people party a lot. Maybe it was like a whirlwind romance or something that happened. Well, they feel trapped in this decision and they know that they've fucked up. Whoever this is. They're overloaded. Okay. They're like really overloaded right now. They're expecting something. Maybe they're expecting something to change. Due to their overwhelming obligations that are now going on. Okay. They're praying for actual money. They're expecting to come in. Sabotaging relationships. They could have paid actual money to sabotage a relationship here. In the tangle of love my demons emerge and I wonder if yours will ask them to dance so this person here conjuring this gin could have also paid someone to conjure a gin they could have gone to a spiritualist um, to sabotage a relationship that this person could have had with you so that they could have it for themselves and they were like praying and trying to manifest this okay and whatever entity that that they were trying to pray to and all of this darkness on my table right here we have memory <clears throat> so this person 
could be looking at your pictures. Can be some type of a reunion. Pictures could have been like a family reunion and pictures were taken. We've got a twin flame here. Okay, this is definitely a karmic fallen twin flame here. So this was your past person, divine feminine, divine masculine. <clears throat> you flip it how it resonates. We it's clarified by ghost. This person's gonna pass away. This person has a banshee screaming at them. Someone in this family here, this banshee is warning of an impending death. All right. In the realm of shadows where memories are host, the echoes of what is gone still haunts me the most. You're like a ghost to this person. It haunts them. The memory of you haunts them. This is your op here. This person is definitely an op. And they're abusing divination against you. This person is a necromancer. This person is a witch or a warlock here. You take it how it resonates. And they've been doing death magic. They're really pissed about something that's going on in the distant future with this high priest here. There's definitely an entity attachment that's going on. This person is experiencing karma. They've abused their divinity in a profound way. Wow. Because of the abuse that they're inflicting and now mm, they have definitely abused their divinity. They're getting ready to face a state of poverty. They may need, they may need help. Something about their occupation could have something to do with their work. Maybe they're uh, struggling financially. Could have to go to the doctor. Could be sick. They're dealing with emotional pain. Could be for mental health issues. This person is obsessed, all right, with doing this, um, trying to make this happen, whatever this is that they're trying to conjure up here. person wants to make you a ghost that they only see in their photos and they're pissed because it's not happened they've formed an alliance so we could have a coven here or they have formed an alliance in this commitment that they've gotten themselves in with each other and uh, to like do this and it's backfiring and affecting the children in the house or the child in the house these people are compatible. <laughs> They're right up, each other, right up each other's alley. They can trust in each other. They're honest with each other. And they're mixing potions. Okay. Transformation, resourcefulness, and change. Because they want to create destruction. They want to create a lot of destruction. We have cauldron. So they're definitely mixing potions in the cauldron. And we have courthouse here. So the courts could end up getting involved with this. Intention, alchemy, and manifestation. They could be trying to manifest some kind of an outcome in court. If they've got a court case going on that could be regarding this child over here. Because I was instantly drawn to the child. They're hoping for achievement. They want to win in court. <clears throat> They've been doing spell work over a court case. They want to win in court. Um, something really destructive could have been going on in these people's lives. And then they formed an alliance to uh, possibly sway a court case here. The grimoire is wisdom, experience, and hidden knowledge. So <clears throat> this is like a, a book of shadows here. It's a spell book for a witch or a warlock. It's where they keep their spells and their hidden knowledge. And it's also hidden information for, that they don't want the courts to find out about, possibly. OK. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot about these. Clarifying overload. They're overloaded because of all the bad choices that they've been making. And <laughs> because of a sex shop escapade that they went on. They were expecting something from a sex shop to do with actual money. Maybe they were paying for some kind of service at a sex shop. Could be praying that it doesn't sabotage the relationship, that it doesn't get out. We have, I love you, some kind of round and round karmic cycle. Maybe this person has a sex addiction and they fight and break up all the time and this person ended up proposing to this person to get into this commitment. And they may, that could have been like part of this spell work here was to land this person. Clarifying memory, we have betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, and not to be trusted. So, you know, in, you definitely have plenty of memories to understand that you don't need to trust this person. This twin flame here, it's fallen karmic feminine, karmic masculine here that lost their divinity here. Um, they're fulfilling a fantasy doing this death magic and all of this shit that they're trying to conjure up. Divine Masculine. So, it was a possibly a masculine here who did this, who is going through this fall. Now they're using alcohol or addictions, toxicities with this indulgence over here to cope with what they've done. This person doesn't love themselves. They're a fucking jackass. Okay, they're a goddamn clown. And they're getting some bad news about something that <clears throat> that uh, has to do with this divination and this death magic over here. They got bad news about it. And it got it's got them all pissed off. They're mad because something's not working. Whatever these potions and spells are that they're casting and creating to create all this destruction they could be trying to form an alliance to create destruction in your life and have you hemmed up in the courts in some way <clears throat> and it's not working <clears throat> we have profession again so this person could be like a could have been a professional in some kind this person's got all kinds of kitchen gadgets in their hand could have something to do with that or could be a medical just any kind of profession whatever it is they're unexpected money so they're hoping I feel like this person is struggling financially and they need a job that's that's what spirits telling me they're sending out the evil eye because maybe uh, they're jealous that your money's okay and theirs is not. It's stressing them the fuck out. It's making them have health concerns. And this death magic over here is backfiring because this health concern was clarified by a banshee. Okay. And then under that, we have skeleton. So <laughs> they're going to, like, this person's going to end up a ghost and a skeleton, which is exactly what they wanted for you. It's all turning back on them. All I could hear was a warning scream. Ignoring the signs won't make me free. The skeleton is a curse of bones, time and dust, things that were never meant to last. It's crazy. <clears throat> so I did. I took some notes on the banshee here. So I'm going to read them to you. So it's Irish legend. So maybe this this person could even be Irish. Um, Scotch, Irish, whatever. Um, it's an Irish le Irish legend of a female spirit who's wailing warns of an impending death in a house. This house is haunted by this banshee here. Oh, God, okay? I'm telling you, these people are fucking scared. Um, it can wail so much that the person could end up, like, taking themselves out or literally just go insane. Um, they, they hate all living things with an unholy fury. The touch of a banshee drains their victim. 
The Moral is a deeply cynical story with an achingly human message, a meditation on the way we define ourselves through others. One cannot pin their failures on another person. They cannot use another person as proof of virtue. We are our own individuals and must recognize ourselves as such. And this banshee's about had it with this person. All right, so I keep forgetting to do this. Clarifying the alliance. So there's an alliance of haters here. There's an alliance of fucking haters and they're experiencing bank failure. The, I, yeah, their finances are fucked up right now. Okay, they are. They're struggling financially. But this destruction here in the courthouse and achievement with the cauldron and the potion and the grimoire, we've got rejected. So whatever it is that they're casting out, it's coming off of you. You're rejecting this energy. It's too late. They can't break your heart anymore. They can be heartbroken. But all of this, it's being rejected from you. It's too late. It's not coming against you. Okay. This person could be upset because they feel like they've made the wrong decision. Um, and something that they've done. Clarifying profession. We have already knowing the T. So something could be going on. Keeping you a secret. Uh, this could have been a workplace affair or something. A workplace secret. Because we're clarifying profession right now. Unexpected money, evil eye, health concern, fall, or banshee and skeleton. We've got mirroring here. And illumination. So the truth is coming out about something. This evil eye. It's just going right back on them. We have mirror over here again. Look at all these candles. And this mirroring here. It's being illuminated. Whatever it is that they've been working on. Their sickness could affect their profession. Could affect them being able to work. This could be why this bank failures here could get to the point. That's why this person's hating because you rejected them and now their entire life is in fucking shambles. And they're, they've broken their own heart because they're making horrible fucking bad choices and decisions because they're a sex addict. We have death. Endless harm is inevitable for this person. This person is a fallen angel and a demon. That's what that's what came out when I clarified death. A demonic fallen angel twin here. The fallen angel is was it even real? The paradise I fell from? Or are they just a nightmare? The realms I now roam. They're stuck wherever the fuck they are. They could be stuck in this mirror portal. The demon is the temptation of living, the fear of regret, dancing among the ashes from the flames of hell. They're conjuring up some dark shit and they've gotten themselves fucked up. They've ended up taking their own asses out. We've got a thief here who's creating a false narrative. And it's an ice queen here who's a Jezebel. So this karmic ice queen Jezebel bitch here could be trying to create a false narrative to come after someone's life here to put an end to things in their life, to put an end to where she can have this person. This person could have conjured demons and now they're ending up and these demons are going to collect one way or another. So it looks like they're getting ready to collect this bitch. Wait, that's not clarifying that one. What is? This person's angry. Could be angry. Because the police are going to be involved about this death and theft plot that some kind of false narrative that this Jezebel Ice Queen has created. It's got the police involved. The 
police could be angry. This person's angry that the police are involved. Wow. This false narrative, this thief here. They've got secret accounts and we've got legal matters here. Divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, or traffic court. Since Ice Queen could have secret accounts spying. Police are involved and know that this is going on. We have confinement. These people are going to go to fucking jail. We have ascending family transition ancestors and pathway <laughs> it's pretty dark someone could pass away in jail something could happen to the whole family the whole family could end up um, could be like a whole family unit that ends up uh, getting arrested the children could be taken from this haunted house someone could end up trying to hurt a whole entire family unit the ancestors are here on the pathway to light but and they ascended they ascended this can be passed over loved ones here protecting you from these people so that they can't transition you out these people could this corrupt family here an end your ancestors are putting an end to blocking your pathway and anything that they're trying to do towards you clarifying this family card we got witch and key so there's like in this family unit there's a, a key witch here someone looking for some kind of opportunities it's sharp insight and hidden potential the witch is beneath the veil of night my thoughts conjure light shining through the darkness I am magic burning bright could be trying to do magic over this family unit well with this transition card we have the abandoned carnival carnival what was once vibrant remains now silenced and still. This place held laughter, even if no one could believe. And clarifying uh, the pathway and the ancestors here, we got mask, duality, protection, and caution. So these people are being warned by your ancestors. They better back the fuck off. And... A huge key to this situation here is this family that's trying to put you into a state of captivity in some way. Well, they're getting ready to go to fucking jail. Because the police station is out here and so is the law enforcement. Clarifying ancestors, we also got mummy. These could be ancient ancestors here. Could be Egyptian. Between the ancient past and the modern world, is there any place where I belong? The ancestors could be giving it, you a key to some kind of sharp insight as you're ascending, going through your ascension process. Your, your, um, your clairs are heightening they're expanding your gifts and anything that could have been done to your spiritual gifts with magic your ancestors are going to upgrade that you're protected these people are being told to use caution with all this witchcraft here Clarifying confinement, we have private relationship and destroyed, shattered, broken, and absolutely fucked up. Wow. That looks like a break in. 
or like blowing a house up could be like a fire the house is absolutely destroyed and with this haunted house and then the transition with this whole family here I mean that looks like a bad really bad scene right there could be broken glass like in a windshield could be a car wreck I keep seeing that a really bad fatal car crash um, ascending family transition ancestors and pathway we have karmic lesson so this was a past life karmic lesson that was balancing out and whatever this person was wishing for they're in massive regrets now because whatever they were trying to manifest they're wishing that they wouldn't have fucking done it so now they're all fucked up Some, someone that they could have had confined and like secret into like a private relationship that was going on they could have tried to keep you pri as a, like a private relationship next we have fury someone's taking offense to something something is really unpleasant clarified by nymph in this mundane world now i roam inside this concrete jungle where is my home this person could have been homosexual or something like running around having relationships all over the fucking place and we have eerie graveyard as life transcends and we all fall into a silent embrace, the old attachments die, finding closure and grace. This person could be mad. They could have been conjuring things in the graveyard here. Um, trying to conjure spirits. We've got high honor, trusted, community conflict so they're pissed that maybe you're seen as being held in high honor in the community or they used to be seen as held in high honor in the community and they no longer are and they're not I'm trying to create conflict with a whole community of people to come against you in some way I'm trying to get people to trust them someone that but abandonment is someone that you've blocked and has no access to you they could be trying to create conflict and they're pissed they're really pissed because they can't kick this person out of your life this was a past life karmic soulmate here um we have abundance and divine feminine here so divine masculine you flip that how it resonates but um could have been trying to do something to get money out of you could have had a price on your head with this thief card here could have been trying to steal your money could have actually stolen your money could be trying to steal from whatever you do for work stole a partnership so that would affect your money abandoned you so that would affect your money Clarifying Fury, we have recording. There's an announcement, an expression. Something is being revealed on a recording. And they're really fucking pissed about it because it's setting the record straight. It's telling the, the truth of the story that they didn't want to get out. Could be part of why this magic is going on over this court case here. Clarifying all of these other cards here. We've got you're fed up. You block this person it Could be spamming calling and texting you in some way and you block them from doing that or um, Some kind of recording on someone's phone They're gonna have to reveal um, Their call logs and text logs or could have to be used for forensic evidence to 
for this case here. We have gold. Something that they were expecting. They feel like they had a purpose in doing something. Someone's destination here. We have Intuitive Kev. So we've got a psychic here. And a ritual. A high priestess. And then protection in reverse. So their goal was to get someone to take away your protection so that they could attack you and they're pissed because it's not working. Clarifying ritual, we got imposter syndrome and perfectionism. So they were trying to, they perfected some kind of ritual. In the pursuit of perfection, night after night, I gifted myself with a thousand flaws. They just keep realizing that it doesn't matter what they're doing, it's not working. The imposter syndrome is in a room full of equals. I stand in doubt. A stranger in my own triumphs. Shadows cast about. So they want to try and manifest your energy onto themselves they want to take your protection away with this death magic over here we've got a karmic masculine and a karmic feminine and they're both mentally and emotionally unstable here so here's this karmic couple here and they're not protected they have no divine protection they're a fallen angel now something could have happened to where a love offer was given so that this person had somewhere to live because that did come out earlier where is my home with this nymph here could be trying to put a he let's see they could be trying to heal from something that's going on in this house From this ritual here that they were not protected from they didn't they didn't think that this was going to backfire on them like this now they're trapped in this confinement here they're trapped themselves they've bound themselves if they did binding rituals they bound themselves their chakras are all fucked up and blocked um you're moving on from these people you've moved on from them and they're trying to move on from what's going on we have bliss and awakening. So you moved on. You're blissfully going through your awakening. Your chakras are okay. You're protecting them from these crazy peoples. And we've got love spell and imprisonment. So whatever this love spell was, this, this death magic shit, this crap over here that they're trying to create for this, um, for this sabotaging relationships. With these demons dancing with each other. Well now they're bound. This love spell has bound them. And the law could definitely be involved with this. Because we do have the police station out here. This person was an imposter. They could have been trying to mirror your reflection. To get this person away from you. When I got caught. There's evidence that was found. You're just watching this shit go down. Somebody got caught cheating. Somebody got caught doing something. Or you caught this person cheating. Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> I find all these other cards under here. We have pregnancy. Some kind of DNA evidence someone could be unemployed they're having a lot of financial problems right now because of this jezebel ice queen here ice king and this cycle is closing with these people and all this crazy shit that they're doing it's bad credit and poverty and all of this other stuff is because of all of this demonic energy that these that this couple is encompassing right now Okay. <clears throat> Next we have coach. 
someone was giving advice on how to do something. They were trying to, to gain some knowledge about something. We have self-doubt and shadows deep, fears and doubt creep. A speck or a scepter haunting where courage sleeps. This person is insecure, they doubt themselves. Or they wanted you to do that. So they could have sent in this wow. We've got Divine Masculine here was a flying monkey. So this was a definitely a karmic fallen twin here that was a flying monkey. They were an op. They were coached and sent in on how to do something to create destruction in your life. Um, and they were completely unbothered about doing this. They enjoyed it. Surprise. Yeah, they did. Well, there could be a snitch here. This third party, whoever they got hooked up with, could end up snitching to the courts. That could be how the courts are involved with something here. Um... clarifying surprise we got ghoul in the shadows i dwell feeding on what i can not remembering when was the last time that life tasted so well so they love feeding off of your energy surprise somebody could be third party snitching that shit out okay um to an investigator here the, this someone's Clarifying coach, we have investigating and sexual protection. So you could, oh, law enforcement could actually be protecting you and investigating this person. This person could be like a, some kind of a predator or something, or they've got some kind of, we do keep getting that crazy plot coming out with RAPE. Okay. Um, this third party snitch here. It's a freaking psycho here. It's a crazy ex that you said goodbye to. This person's very toxic. They're drinking a lot. They've got a family, but they but they're a sex addict here. So this sex addict, this sex addiction is and toxic lifestyle is ruining this person's life. And you definitely need to protect yourself from this person sexually. This person's got a lust demon on them. They're a sex addict, and the law is protecting you literally from this sex addict here like sexual protection from an investigator here they better fucking not they better not even think about coming near you um we've got readiness somebody's fucking ready preparation prompt and arrangement has been made so we got and it's I can pick it up real love in reverse ready to come in and not show any love at all they're not enamored they don't give a fuck this person's concerned about something because they this person doesn't know how to act in this energy they could be trying to come say hello concerned if you're gonna let them around you they are they already know that you love yourself and that you're working with your spirit and you've got manifestations coming in and you're protected from this crazy psychopath clarifying concern we have dagger and it means action bravery and determination so someone that didn't love you could be concerned now this looks like they're, they've been taken in for questioning right now. Or you could be taken in for questioning. Or you're manifesting for this motherfucker. You're ready for this motherfucker to go to jail. A knife could be involved. Someone is determined to be brave in this situation. It's clarifying. By fighting for what you love. Claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. Somebody could be trying to come in and act like, you know, they're trying to fight for you, but being told to use caution here for this ready motherfucker that's wanting to stroll in. Um, this real love and enamor in a reverse with concern. We got funeral 
and feeling like shit. I'm telling you, this motherfucker's getting ready to pass. This motherfucker's getting ready to lose their life. So you're being told to use caution around this person. You turned your back on this person. You bumped heads with this person. You could have been married to this person or this person is getting married to someone else and they are not fucking happy, okay? They're feeling like shit and they're not happy. This person, this person's got a health concern and uh, I was instantly drawn to the skeleton here. Could be like a bag of bones, uh, looking all frail and weak and stuff. We have merit making, trying to make right with God. This person's all about people pleasing. This person is very easily swayed. They can't make their own decisions. This is about having morality, being a decent human being, being one with God, doing kind things to others and this person is not doing that I wonder how much of myself I've lost in others the pieces that remain no one can notice this person is so lost they've lost themselves in trying to please everyone but themselves we have labor work and efforts in reverse this person could be trying to say if you bless me with a job I'll be better well that's not the truth okay we've got false information here someone's in their thoughts about a message okay some kind of information could have they could have given the courts false information and then they got text message proof or something or there's some kind of proof and this person doesn't know that they had this information on them and they, they got themselves caught up in a lie and now they're begging God to get them out of this and God's not going to get them out of this. This is their karma. They've manifested this for themselves and they're going to have to go through it. They're going to have to deal with it. Clarifying this, we have insecure in reverse. So they could be trying to act like they're all insecure, but they're not or they definitely have really bad insecurity problems. This person would be coming in with a fake apology if they came in with one okay clarifying um, false over here this person left you hanging okay no closure no contact and left on red they could say that you're still in contact with them and and you're not this person shady as fuck about some kind of love message that they could have been trying to plan on sending wow could be in their thoughts about trying to message you. Maybe you've not had any contact with this person for a long time. And they could be trying to think of a way to tell you some false information. Just so that they can come around you. They could know that you're leveling up on your ascension journey here. And that uh, there's no love here in this. Could be getting a message finding out that this person passed away. Or these people this couple here on the bottom of the deck we have kick to the curb and workplace affair this could have been someone that you worked with or this person could have had an affair on you with someone that they worked with but this person kicked you to the curb or you kicked this person to the curb you just take it how it resonates <clears throat> this person wears many masks full of deception they're pretending they're very inconsistent in their lifestyle they're all over the fucking place this person is a master manipulator and they're being manipulated and they're a master manipulator with all of these masks that they wear we have raven on the bottom i love raven totem medicine knowledge death and energies so here's death again They've manipulated their own death to occur. On the bottom of this deck, I wanted an overall energy. We have Venus. So it's all about love, the attraction, the pleasure, the good times that they're having, what they cherish and enjoy, the charm, the art, and the beauty are the way to have pleasure from all of, and attraction from all these good times that they're having. 
the first house, who you are, your desires, your actions, immediately, the way you project yourself, do it on your own. <clears throat> the attraction of who you are, pleasure from your desires, good times, your actions, immediately cherish the way you project yourself, enjoy, do it on your own. Charm, art, and beauty are the way to. Wow. So that's their M.O. It's just how they are. It's just how they fucking roll. They, they manipulate people to get into a relationship with them. Well, uh, this banshee's here getting ready to collect fucking souls. So, uh, I mean, it's inevitable. It's getting ready to fucking happen. They're already haunting the house. They're already there. And it doesn't matter. Your ancestors are protecting you from this crazy person. And whatever mirror magic that they're doing here, we've got mirror out here twice, keeping you a secret, illuminating the truth about this mirror shit. Let's return to cinder and close off and seal your mirrors. Put a pentagram on them with your sage or something, or put a cross on them with holy water or anointed oil. And the children could be taken if something happens to these parents here and they end up going to jail. These secret accounts that they've got have created um, legal matters as well. And they're really angry. They could have court-ordered anger management. This, this person could get aggressive with police. Whatever this private relationship is, it's destroyed their lives. And they definitely regret all the shit because they are so hemmed up. There's recordings. They're so caught. They're being investigated because of their sexual promiscuity. Paying someone something from the sex shop or, or buying things from the sex shop. keeps coming out of my readings that a sex shop is being investigated. I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. They could be offering like services or something from there to, you know, meet up with people or something. Jezebel and sex addiction. Are right beside each other. And this person is trying to have a family as a sex addict. And it's not working out so well. There are massive regrets because they are hemmed up in court. I mean, we've got, let's see how many times. Legal matters. Police. Evidence. Here's the, the key to the jail cell. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a lot of court on my table. These people are definitely, definitely pissed. They're getting ready to get hemmed up. Oh, I knew there was another one right there. And then the false information. They've lied, they've lied to law officials here so I don't know collective <laughs> this is fucking crazy well they trap themselves they're fucking trapped and they know they fucked up and there's nothing that they can do about it because this bad news is coming in whether they want to or not that's what bad choices and being being in this crazy energy is going to get them massive regrets 
Lord have mercy. All right, collective. So this is going to be our reading. I hope this helps you guys. Um, I hope that you just will flip it how it resonates. If it not all of this is going to resonate with you, only take what resonates and leave the rest for who it's for, okay? And you can flip the roles. There's no gender in tarot. You just flip it how it makes sense to you. All right, guys. I love you, collective. Bye.